half expect Doc, Marty, and Elon to step out as the falcon wing doors of the Tesla Model X begin to swing open, activated as they are with two successive pushes on the side of the key fob. The rear door is released with an audible click, and then the electric motors were as the doors begin their slow skyward ascent. It's the Model X's big trick, and a dubious tie to the hubris of DeLorean, Bricklin, and Icarus. These aren't mere gullwing doors, though, they're far more complex. Power actuated and lined with capacitive, inductive, and sonar sensors behind the aluminum skin to keep them from delivering an uppercut to your head or garage ceiling, the doors are hinged above the glass to automatically fold away from parked cars and obstacles. They're probably the smartest doors ever fitted to a car. But do you want complicated doors? Mostly you just want doors to open easily quickly, and provide a large enough portal to let you into the cabin. Fully open, the Falcon wing door provides a large entry, but it's still easy to smack your head on the tip of the wing. There's a wait, too. The Falcon wing doors take five and a half seconds to open, six to close, and occasionally the sensors halt their progress, even when there's nothing in the way. For as smart as these doors are, it turns out that even semi-sentient doors with echolocation are pretty dumb. And yet, the dumbest part of the Model X is the first thing you will show off. The rest of the Model X isn't dumb, far from it. Tesla's third act, after the Roadster and the Model S, the Model X is a fully electric three-row SUV. Built alongside the Model S in Fremont, California, the X shares much with that hatchback including significant parts of the chassis and the aluminum structure, plus the electric motors and the battery pack. Tesla's SUV might look like the unwanted offspring of a Model S and a BMW 5 Series GT, but at least the shape doesn't offend the wind. The claimed drag coefficient is a very low 0.24.